Hey guys, welcome to Draco Ray Gaming. I'm Draco, and I'm here to tell you guys today about bit rates. Bit rates, what are they? How does it work? Which one should I use? I'm streaming, I don't know. Well, uh, I'm gonna tell you. So before we get into it, uh, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, because I got videos coming out weekly with streaming tips and gameplay. All right, let's get into it. Bit rates, well, what is my bit rate? Something you guys need to do right now. Do it right now, let's do this. Go to speedtest.net, run, Run, uh, run a speed test. I just ran one a little while ago. This is my download, this is my upload. Bit rates are what the kilobit packages that you're sending up, it's your upload rate. This is the number that matters. This doesn't matter as much. What you're sending up is what matters. So, if you're trying to send a 1080p stream on Twitch up at 6,000 kilobits a second, or six megabits per second, that'd be six of my 17, right? And it has to stay consistent and solid and your, your entire system has to encode and do all the work building that and pushing it out, which is a lot of work for your system, and it's stress on your bandwidth connection, which you're also trying to use to game at the same time. Plus, there's other people in your home probably using the internet. So you really need to think about your upload rate and your ability on your internet bandwidth with, with if you're gonna be able to do it and push it. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret today. Okay, this is the secret. And this is what not a lot of people are talking about. I watched a ton of YouTube videos. I couldn't believe nobody's talking about it. They'll talk to you all day long about how to stream in 1080p, but they won't tell you why not to stream in 1080p. Don't do it when you're first starting out. Trust me. I've learned the hard way. I'll share my experiences and stories with you. We'll get into it right now. So, now that you know what your internet speed is, let's go look at Twitch's uh, broadcasting guidelines for what they say. Here, everybody goes here first. Not sure why everybody wants high quality content, 1080p, 4K, I know, I get it. I even thought about streaming in 4K and 1080p, don't do it. All right, this is what you should do. This is where you should start. This guy's crazy, I don't wanna watch his YouTube video anymore. <laughs> yeah, you should, because this is what's gonna build your success. You, you don't wanna take a big hit on your system, you don't want to have crappy streams and dips in quality. You don't want to be using a high bit rate you can't push with the rest of your gaming sucking up your bandwidth or another people in the home sucking bandwidth. You want to figure out what you can push and you want to push a good quality that's consistent and you never have issues with. So uh, the, the rule of thumb, no matter where you go, and we can talk about YouTube streaming, we could talk about mixer settings here, uh, YouTube's recommended bit rates. I'm going to tell you no matter where you go, this is the best rule of thumb one of these so we have two rows here right we got this is for your cpu encoder the x264 this is for your nvidia nvec encoder i recommend nvec i've used it okay it's a separate encoder on your nvidia graphics card if you have one that does all the encoding if you have a crazy cpu you can do it here too but you i'm guarantee you you get better gaming quality and video streaming out of the nvec encoder in your system and this is the best place to start um 3,000 kilobits per second, three megabits up out of like say my 17 for example. Now I'm going to show you a secret that nobody's talking about or showing that makes it look good. That makes the 720 look like 1080 and uh, doesn't take a big hit on your bandwidth or your system. And it's right here in your output settings. Okay, I've I've basically gotten all my output settings good and the same. Uh, I like to push 4,000 bits, even though I'm doing 30 frames right now in 720. I've matched all the settings here, as you can see of what they recommend. I've matched them all here. CBR, 4,000 bit rate, two frames, quality high, one. I, you actually can choose your GPU, I have two GPUs. I actually have a separate GPU doing the encoding just all by its lonesome. The Doing the encoding off the same GPU doesn't really hurt it too much. Um, and you could, that's where you change it, just as a side note. And then your max P frames too. I've matched what they've asked here, and I've had great success with it. Um, and my streams look great, and I haven't had any issues, honestly. But here's the secret secret, all right? Video. Right now I'm doing a 1080p recording, but what I do is I do a 1080p base canvas. I do a 720p resolution for the output going out to the stream. And then I do 32x sampling, okay? And it comes out looking like 1080p, but a 720 stream. Still, why is he doing a 720p stream? Why is, he, why is he telling us to do this? Because a lot of people are on their mobile phones, one. Like for, here's my story. So one of my friends <clears throat> on my stream, 
I could never watch my streams live. Whether it was YouTube, Twitch, whatever, it always buffered, do all kinds of stuff, right? Everything looked fine on my end. But where he was on his cell phone with his connection, he couldn't pull down a 1080p stream on his cell phone. You have a lot of cell phone users. So actually, you could get more viewership by actually streaming in 720p by chance, by side effect, because people would actually be able to open it on their phone. It's not buffering, and they might actually hang out in your stream for a while. So that's one of the big tips that I've learned over time in streaming is that this is a perfect, right here, starting point for learning how to stream, learning if you can up it a bit, learning if you want to go 60 frames on the 720. But here's here's even another reason not to stream in 1080p, especially if you're on Twitch. That you don't get as a if you're not a partner, you don't get server prioritization for the 1080p bandwidth. So you, so you're not even it's harder to push on your system. It's harder to push up and keep stable from your your internet connection possibly. And it's it's not only that but Twitch isn't even going to give you the option to stream in 1080p or give your viewers the opportunity to actually uh, downgrade it to 720p if they can't watch it in 1080p. I believe a lot of times if you don't have the server prioritization, what happens if you're not a Twitch partner is that they can't even downgrade it to 720p to be able to watch it more more better. And that's how it's been for a while. I don't know if that's changed, but I don't think so. So there's, there's, there's many, many reasons why this is the golden rule, rule of thumb with the settings and the secret settings I showed you to uh, allow it to be actually be shown uh, in a higher quality. It looks it looks good. The 720 streams actually look look pretty good. I'm um, using the, the the sampling and everything like that. And I'll just show you one more time what that looks like here in the video outputs. So you want that Lanzos sharpened scaling 32 samples, um, and then yeah, 720 here, 1080 there. That's what it'll look like. And here's the output settings one more time that I'm kind of using. Great success with them. Would highly recommend it. Um, and like I said, what, what else can I say about it here? I've done statistics as well on like, um, just you can look anywhere online and see how many people actually uh, stream in 720 versus 1080. I think the reason everybody goes for 1080 is because it's high quality, it's HD, um, all the big top streamers stream in 1080. That's because they're partners. They have bandwidth prioritization with the servers. They have the ability for you to actually go to the stream if it's buffering and downgrade it to 720. They're basically getting all the limelight. If you're first starting out on streaming, you really don't want to do that. You want to start somewhere with a good baseline. Um, like I don't even agree with YouTube's recommended upload rates and settings. Like I think they have like a like that's insane. That's SD okay, SDR, HDR. Oh my gosh, HDR is even more. They're saying like 7.5 megabits per second to 5 megabits per second for a 720p stream. That's incredibly high. Like that's insane. Like that's I've streamed on YouTube and I can push like 3000 kilobits to 4000 kilobits or 3 to 4 megabits per second. And like that's about all they can handle. I started pushing like five, six, and then they start complaining. Oh no, it's too much. Maybe you should lower it. And I'm like, wow, really? So even the YouTube streaming, like it's a good rule of thumb: three thousand bits. Start off there, seven twenty. See how you do. Increase it. See how your stream, you know, because you don't want to see those dips in quality and all those kind of problems happen. And then on Mixer, like they're talking like I don't know. Look at the ranges they give you. So if you want to do seven twenty p at thirty frames, they're saying fifteen hundred to four thousand. Like that's such a high range, and and like if you're gonna do 1080p, anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000, you definitely don't want to be at the minimum, and you definitely don't want to be at the maximum, depending on like so. Like this rule of thumb, I don't really agree with, and this rule of thumb from from Mixer and from YouTube, don't really agree with. This right here on Twitch, and I'm not just you know tooting Twitch's horn, but this is good. This is good information for starting off your stream, and I'd recommend starting off here with the NVEC encoder. I don't know what else to say. I mean. That's that's pretty much it. That's the secrets. That's from my experience. That's from the stories and, and streaming for a couple years. And, and like this will save you a huge ton of time. And I hope you guys liked it. And remember, um, if you, you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Click that notification bell because I got gameplay videos coming out, live streams, and streaming tip videos coming out weekly. And I want to know what you guys think, what you guys want to see. And I'm just looking to help the gaming community out. I'm Draco. This is Draco Ray Gaming. And I'm